A memorial is now up in northeast Travis County after a 15-year-old girl was killed in a crash there last night. Delia Ramirez died early this morning. Troopers say the driver in an 18-wheeler truck was distracted and ran a red light, causing the crash. KXAN's Lindsey Bramson has been working on details of the story all day long and has the latest from Del Valley. Delia Ramirez was a sophomore here at Del Valley High School. The district tells me right now their number one priority is showing support for other students who knew her. Troopers say Delia was in the car with 37 year old Margarita Ramirez and a 22 month old toddler when they were hit by a tractor trailer on SH 130 near Palmer Thursday night. 15 year old Delia died at UMC Brackenridge just after midnight. Margarita and the 22 month old survived the crash and are expected to be okay. Troopers tell me the driver from Virginia said he was trying to look at his GPS and was distracted when he ran a red light. On social media sites like Twitter, classmates share photos and express their condolences. A memorial for Delia also sits where the crash happened. A friend tells me she was a well-known band member who always had a smile on her face. She's just a happy person. I mean, we kind of separated this last year and we kind of talked on Instagram and stuff, but you know, it's just... It's going to be hard to miss her, you know. She was she was so nice and she was uplifting and it's just hard for everybody. A spokeswoman for DPS says right now it's unclear whether the driver will be charged. Reporting in Del Valley, Lindsey Bramson, KXAN News. We checked with the DPS and Austin police to get some guidance on distracted driving rules. Officers told us if you cause an accident, because you were distracted by your GPS, at the very minimum, you'll likely face a Class C misdemeanor and a fine. That's for crashes inside the city limits and out. But you could also face a number of other charges depending on other factors in the case. Keep in mind, Austin Police started enforcing the city's hands-free ordinance last month. It says drivers cannot enter or change information on a GPS device while driving. You're expected to set it up before you get behind the wheel.